this coming up in just a bit. Heavy rain has also flooded much of Algodona. Some say the solution may be fixing the arroyos and culverts, but those are on private land. Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer spoke to the landowner about what he wants to see done. You can see the devastation from Sky 7. Roads washed out, homes flooded as heavy rains pour down on Algodones. The tiny, unincorporated part of Sandoval County has been hit hard by Mother Nature several times in just the past week. Just wondering what I'm going to do with all the mud. Flooding so bad, Sandoval County commissioners approved an emergency declaration today to help with repairs. This arroyo over here behind me, this is one of the problem spots that we saw all that flooding happen just the other week ago in Algodones. Now, this is on private land, but the man who owns this land says he's willing to work with officials to fix the problem. They just have to talk to him about it first. Albaca owns the land. He says flooding here is a problem. When the highway came in, they put culverts in and they're channeling the river, the, the arroyos, and when they come out, they're coming out at a higher velocity. The Eastern Sandoval County Arroyo Flood Control Authority would be the one to make any changes. Changes Baca tells us he'd be open to making if the price is right. But he says it's been more than a year since anyone has talked to him about it. I'm willing to work with them, but to the county or the SCAFCO or the Conservancy, but they need to talk to me. You know, not talking to me doesn't get us anywhere. We did reach out to the Eastern Sandoval County Arroyo Flood Control Authority to see if they'll approach Bach about making some of those changes to the culverts and arroyos. So far, we have not heard back from them. Back to you, Doug. The county tells us it does not know how much it will cost to make the repairs caused by the flooding. Heavy rain over the weekend also caused a bit of